Today I'm going to take you through the encounter screen and speak with you a little bit about why it is important to lock our encounters, how to view the unlocked incomplete encounters, and the steps that you can take to close these encounters so that they can be made into claims. As you can see, I'm working in the E version of eClinical Works. This is the Google Chrome-based version. If you're unfamiliar with it, um, it, the looks, it's really aesthetically different. All of the options are still the same. And the e-version is something that we can offer further training on if you are interested. To get to the encounter screen in the e-version, you need to click the three horizontal bars in the upper left corner, move to the billing icon, and our first option is encounters. There are different filters with the encounter screen. The important one that I want to begin with is this progress notes incomplete. So these are going to show all of your progress notes that are, have not been locked and that have not been made into claims already. The first filter at the top is providers and resources. So you may have resource appointments um, like nurse visits or maybe EKG visits that you would need to look at as well. I'm going to leave it on providers, and I'm going to leave this unchecked for all. But if you only wanted to run it for a certain provider, you could uncheck that button, search for your provider, and simply run the report for that provider only. I'm going to again check all, so it doesn't matter that the provider is only one there. You can run it for insurance, insurance group, or self-pay patient. By facility, again, you can run this to see progress notes that are done or locked, if they've been locked, non-billable visits, non-billable visit status codes, and progress notes incomplete. The service date range, this is a report that we run for all of our clients, all of our practices, when we do our database reviews. And there are two ways that we run it. So we run it from basically the beginning of time to see if there are any very old encounters, but also for the last three months. It's something that we recommend you run uh, at least once a month and run it for the past uh, six to 12 months just to make sure there's nothing there. If you're certain that there is nothing that far back, you can change it to run it for the only the past three months. So I'm going to run it for a year. And number of days, this is a, another way that you can run a report um, by a certain number of days, but if you have a service date range that would override that filter. And then over on the right, you simply click filter, and it's going to give you a list of those unlocked encounters. And the reason, of course, these unlocked encounters are so important is because they have not been created into claims based on the system setup. As soon as those encounters have been locked, they will be created into claims, and those claims will be worked by our Group 1 Health Source team and sent out. Now, there are a couple of different options that you can run from this report. If you would like to see the progress note, you can select one of the um, encounters that has returned, click progress note, and it will open up the note. So you may be able to look at it from here um, and say, oh, I know what this is, or I know why it's unlocked, um, I will speak to the provider, or maybe it was an encounter that the patient canceled or no-showed, but the status wasn't changed, you would be able to see that as well. And the other very important option from this window is you can copy out this report, especially if you ran this by provider and copied it to an Excel sheet. You can see it downloads the encounter report. And if you had a secure system where you could send this to the provider, you could share that report with them. 
and they would be able to see their patients that way as well. Again, my name is Meredith Angel. If you have any further questions about encounters, reports, the e-version, or any further eClinical Works training needs, please feel free to reach out and we can get something scheduled with you. Thank you.